Well, first of all, I should say that this WTSA is unprecedented uh, in the sense that we have both physical presence and uh, remote participation on a larger scale than we've ever seen in the past. Now, of course, the decisions uh, will only be taken in the plenary by those who are physically present, but nonetheless, uh, this is an unusual situation. And of course, the WTSA has been postponed twice. Uh, originally, it was to be hosted uh, by the government of Indus, Ind India in Hyderabad, but uh, unfortunately, because of the pandemic situation, uh, we have had to postpone it twice. So uh, we are now uh, able, because of um, the, the COVID reaching the endemic level, hopefully, uh, we um, are now physically present here in Geneva. But the, as far as the responsibilities of the WTSA are concerned, they haven't changed. Uh, we review the work program of the study groups and approve that work program, including the questions. Uh, we uh, review and revise the uh, various uh, WTSA resolutions. And there are many proposals uh, in that respect uh, to deal with. And of course, uh, we have the appointment of the uh, study group chairs and vice chairs, as well as TSAG uh, to deal with. So uh, these are the main responsibilities of the assembly. And um, we are making some progress. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to um, reach consensus uh, by the end of uh, Wednesday next week. Well, the main proposals that have been put forward to the Assembly are based on the discussions that have taken place in the six regional organizations. So they have put forward their collective and common views uh, with respect to various issues, many of which, or I should say the majority of which, uh, are related to the WTSA resolutions. So they put forward um, suggestions for modification to those resolutions. In some cases, um, they have uh, proposed to suppress the resolutions. And in other cases, have uh, made proposals to add uh, other resolutions uh, that um, are before this assembly for approval. So the six regions um, have uh, put their proposals together we have organized in relation to TSAG meetings, uh, inter-regional meetings, to um, encourage inter-regional discussion on the various proposals. So um, we at least did have an opportunity for pre-negotiation on some of the texts that have been put forward by identifying focal points in the regional organizations that will act as the, uh, the central uh, authority for uh, negotiations. Well, really the key issues are based on the proposals and uh, the modifications to the various res resolutions. So uh, I think for the most part, um, if we reach agreement on the proposed changes in the first instance, as far as uh, study group restructuring is concerned, uh, we did discuss and reach consensus on an action plan related to study restructuring. Now, I don't anticipate that at this assembly we will be uh, entertaining any changes to the current study group structure, but nonetheless, uh, we will have a basis for moving forward in TSAG uh, for the next WTSA in 2024 uh, on the subject of restructuring. So the new leadership team uh, will be appointed and approved next week by the uh, plenary and uh, we'll move forward on that basis. Well, in the first instance, uh, we will have a new uh, and revised, uh, in some cases, uh, WTSA resolutions. Some will stay the same, of course. Uh, there will be others that are be will be added 
uh, on various subjects that have um, been the subject of proposals put forward to the Assembly. So um, the WTSA resolutions are within the purview of the uh, Assembly to approve. Now there will be other cases where um, the so-called A-series recommendations um, will be modified and approved by the Assembly, although TSAG also has the responsibility and authority uh, to uh, propose changes and uh, approve changes uh, to those recommendations. So we will have um, the report uh, of this Assembly uh, that the director will uh, put forward to council and to the plenipotentiary conference, uh, which will highlight the outcome of the um, of this assembly, particularly those outcomes that have implications for the other sectors of uh, the union, as well as uh, areas where uh, coordination and uh, collaboration is enhanced with external agencies. So that will be um, one of uh, another one of the outcomes. There will be actions that will uh, be identified for TSEG to be carried out until the next uh, WTSA. So um, those actions will be acted upon at the first TSEG meeting in November. Although there are uh, certain activities that uh, were held over from uh, the last TSEG meeting in January. So, for example, there's an ad hoc group uh, established on governance and management of, of e-meetings, which is certainly pertinent uh, given the circumstances we've been under for the last two years in working um, virtually um, uh, in the study groups and in TSEC. So uh, all of this information will be put forward um, and considered uh, in the next shortened study period until 2024.